Let me ask you a question. What did you learn in primary or secondary education about investing? What about relationships? Unless you had a very unique school program, chances are that you went along with the classes you needed to graduate, and that's all. Hello everyone, this is Mark again. As a current secondary education major, I know that there are so many benefits to going to school, from social development to even cognitive development. But at the same time, there are just some important concepts that we don't really learn in school. That's too bad because that means we as the younger generations still have a lot to learn after we graduate 12 plus years of formal education. For this week, I wanted to talk about three things that they don't really teach you in school. Stick with me and learn about these three things, how they can bring you success, and how you can start learning more about them today. Hey everyone, Mark again. This is another update for our summer goals. So starting with the last few weeks, we all know that I was at 17 pages for my script that I'm writing. Applying last week's video on change and humility, I had to take a little step back. There were just some things that I still needed to learn. And with that, I had to learn a little more about story structure, character design, and what I was able to do is that being teachable, right, allowed me the opportunity to look into different software and tools that are available in this industry for me to better write and create this script that I wanted to go for. So even though I might have taken a step back from the writing itself, that doesn't mean that I haven't stopped. Research and developing my skills are another part of what I was able to accomplish last week. And with that, I'm now at 20 pages for my script this summer. That's me. I hope you're doing well with your goals for this summer. Let's get to the video and find out what we can do this week in order to get one step closer to our goals. First, personal finance. Our families grew up in a time that is completely different from ours. Besides new jobs, new technology, and new opportunities, there are some tips that do not apply as well as they used to. For example, a lot of you might be familiar with the idea that getting an education, a secure job, and a house were solid financial choices. However, financial security nowadays is not that simple, especially in the age of information. According to Robert Kiyosaki, in his book Rich Dad Poor Dad, one thing that separates us from success is understanding how to make our money work for us. One business teacher explained it through these easy concepts, earning money and making money. When you earn money, you are essentially an employee, using your time and talents to make someone else money in return for a paycheck. This works for some, but what if we lose our jobs? That's where making money is introduced. You make money when you use your time and talents to produce an asset, a product, or service like stocks, bonds, a business, or real estate, which can make money from that time onward. So once you have invested in this process, you receive income even when you are not technically working. Number two, emotions, relationships, and self-awareness. While some people might say that these lessons are best learned at home, we have to recognize that there are just some things that aren't talked about. And let's face it, growing up is hard. Expectations, family drama, romantic relationships, friendship, coping with stress. These are just a few on the list of things that we wish we knew more about when we were young. And if schools took the time in order to help students understand more about emotions, about society, about how to work well with people, we could possibly see classes, discussions, and other programs that support students as they grow and transition into the world, instead of experiencing more troubles as they go through school. Number three, the most important lesson that I'm going to teach you about today is attitude and motivation. This is by no means on purpose, but there are some inherent characteristics of the school system which can take away from a person's sincere interest in learning. While this may be true of many different schools, the one thing that you need to remember is this. Your thoughts determine your actions, and your actions determine who you are, where you live, and where you want to be in the future. And that determines what your ultimate destiny is. When people have a growth mindset, 
the idea that they can effectively change their whole entire lives, then they can succeed. But if you believe that you cannot change your life, that you cannot change the circumstances you are in, then you feel trapped. You're essentially in a fixed mindset. I want you to look back on any of the topics that we discussed here, whether it's personal finance, emotions, or even attitude and motivation. I know these things aren't taught in school, but they are things that are within your grasp. Take 10 to 20 minutes, and that is all you need to start. Look up one article, one video, talk to one friend, read, watch, and discuss these things, and it will get you one step closer to the success you are looking for. And for another update, please make sure to subscribe and click the like button. It really helps me out, and I hope that these videos help you too as we work on our goals together. See ya!